Okay, hi again. This is another chair workout to help along. More focus on the legs. You can add this to the other one. Build, be creative, innovative. Do what you can. Use your own momentum. As many reps as you want to go. And um, as much as you want to build. And with these exercises, you might just go through one cycle or the whole video, repeat it. Just do it once or do as much gusto as gusto or as much energy as you want through it or as many reps. So more focus on the legs. So we're going to focus first on just lifting your leg up 10 times each side. And some of you might actually try this when you do this as many times as you can to the teeth. You're going to be surprised this feels heavier and more tiring than it is. Put your each of your legs weigh about a certain amount of weight. I weigh like 185, 190. You're going to find something. I'm left handed, so my right leg feels more heavier to my dom dominated side. Just lift your leg up. You're bring your leg up to your, you bring your leg up to your chest. Best you can. If you're hypermobile, push your joints. Just do what feels right. Over time, do more. Just keep doing this. You'd be surprised if you can tap it out. Just get the blood moving. It's all about getting the body moving. Just each side, maybe 10, 15, 20 times. And for some of you, my back's not touching the chair. But for some of you, you might need to actually just keep your back to the chair, give you a little more support. But if you keep your back away from the chair, you actually will have a more core engagement, a little strength of the hips and the back. But again, you might say that part of it, I might have my back to the chair, and part of it, I may not. Um, you can alternate as if you're marching back and forth. Keep your hands on, you can keep your hands off, giving you the options. You'll be surprised for some of you where you are, where this might feel right or wrong, feel good, um, and do that. So now, what we're gonna do now is, for most of us, we're gonna probably need to sit back in the chair and leg lifts. Bring your legs up. So we might just bring one inch up, two inches up, 10 times each side. Now, what's a bad counter? <laughs> I'm always a big counter. There's kind of reason why when I count, like, I love cheeses or potato chips. When I say just 10 in a server or 15, I always get to 20. <laughs> so lift the leg up. Try to do as straight as possible. You might have a little bend in your knee. And so you might just do like two inches. Try to get the leg parallel to the floor. And that's what you do. Sit up straight. Let's have a good stretch. Like stretch your body, good. And that is really good. Now we're gonna actually try to stand up straight and then sit down in the chair. Put your legs on your thing, on your lap. Bring this your lap. <laughs> stand up, sit down. Some, some of you might not even have your hands in your lap. You need to do it that low. And some of you might even have your back to the chair. Do it if you need to. Stand up 10 times. His body. <laughs> I'm intentionally having some of the counting off because I'm really just focusing on keeping your bodies moving. You know, your heart rate will go up. More people are so weakened and debilitated when we see them for the first year. We just really need to get them moving. This condition, I can't emphasize how much people are weakened and the experience just makes people feel so bad. Next thing is really are some leg circles. Bigger the better, smaller the better, space circles. Clockwise and counterclockwise, 10 times, 20 seconds. Just do what feels right. You're gonna feel it in your interior thigh, your quad. Now the other side. Keep doing it. You may have your back to a chair or not. Try to keep straight back the best you can. Counterclockwise, clockwise. Good. That's really good. All right. Now we're going to do calf raises. So basically sit up straight, back to a chair, or back not to a chair. Just try to get your toes on your tippy toes. Lift your heels up, 
and get your toes up and your tippy toes. Do it maybe 15, 20 times. Make that little tightness in your calves because you're so used to your muscles being tight from adrenaline and just how debilitating you've been. It's what we expected. Your body's been so beaten down by this condition. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Good. Now, you're just going to do this now. Side waves, waves, start a different leg now. Just do it like 10, 15 times. You might keep your back to the chair, hold on to the chair. Anytime you need to, hold on to the chair. Make sure you breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Now the other side, breathe in, breathe out. Good. And then we're going to do a little more standing up again. Just maybe 10 times. One, there's two, three, and hold on. Remember the first rules. You just need to just hold on. You can't do a way up. Just do what you feel right. Take as long as you need. Stop the video if you need to. Okay, let's stop there. <laughs> All right. So that is good. The next thing is you're going to just straighten your legs up and just hold your arms up and just lean forward. Take it's a little core, take a little pause. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out, sit up. And then you're just going to sit there. Go through your heart racing and take a deep breath. You can repeat this, slow it down, as many reps as you want. We're just glad that you're doing this. We're proud of you, we appreciate you. Thank you.